Hello everyone. Thought I'd do a video real quick on my Tetramorium colony, which as you can see, you can barely see any of the formicarium, there's so many workers. They're covering the grass pretty good. As you can see, that's not all. They're up here as well. They're down in these chambers as well. This colony is doing extremely well. I'm very happy and very impressed with the colony of the, this colony. This is the first time I've ever gotten this species like this. Normally they die out. And every other time I tried, I tried using multiple queens and it never worked. I tried a single queen in Tar Heel Ants with Formicarium, of course. And this is the result. This is how well they were doing. This is over a year old colony. This is a three plus year old colony of Formica Podzilica. My wife got this queen. I've done many videos on her. And she's over three years old. Very proud of this lady. Here is my three plus year old pogo colony. This is all mean. I know it's dirty. Seeds. It's a little bit of brood. But this is three plus years old. Most of my colonies are over a year old now. Most, not all, most. This one is over a year old. I caught this last year, this colony. This is not a, from a founding queen. I caught 12 queens and about 20 workers of this Formica colony. I do not know. I'm sorry. Brain, I, my brain wasn't working there for a second, but this is a wild caught colony. There was probably about 50 queens when I caught that. Um, this is a mixture of last year and this year. This is a, a two queen colony of pogos. They're doing very well. Seeds. Queen was just there. I know I saw her. Sorry for the dirty formicariums, guys. I haven't been able to buy new ones so I can trade, change out. I need about four or five bigger ones because my colonies are outgrowing what I have. And right now I can't afford to get new ones. Here's another. This is a this year Pogo colony. And an Apreo. This is a Castilla. Castilla. This one back over here behind the McDonald's is a Haven. That's the one with the multi-queens of Formica. Dual-sided special order with museum glass nucleus. With the three-year-old Formica colony. Labyrinth with the three-year-old Pogo colony. Campanatus last year from... And a special fire brick, or special made Formicarium. And for Mr. Jeffrey... I would like to show you my Occidentalis Aphrogaster, Aphenogaster. Uh, this should this did have two queens. I don't know if it still does. I've seen one, but this was down to eleven workers when I caught it. It was two queens and about. 15 workers and they've now gotten bigger now that's the thing everybody when you take wild catch wild queens with workers you got to be very careful of shock you will make sure to get as many workers and brood as you can because once you do that it takes them a while to regrow and regroup But I wanted to show all of you some of my setups. Most of my stuff is in my mini fridges right now. Here, in fact, I'll show you that real quick, too, since I seem to be doing a longer than normal video. Here's my first mini fridge. As you can see, got some stuff already put in there. This is a special one. Give me a second here. Now, this is my second fridge. These are all Campanatus and Laceus right here. And some of my growing colonies, Campanatus, Campanatus, a few other species, some Pogos. But this is my second mini fridge. 
So within the next few weeks, most of these are going to be going into the fridge. This is my fortress. This was two Queen Colony of Neo Clara that dropped down to one. They haven't laid any brood, so I'm about ready to stick them in the fridge for the winter. And in this drawer we have on Campanatus. They've all stopped laying, larvae started growing, so I'm going to be sticking them in the fridge as well. Right now, Campanatus seems to be the only species I don't do very good with. But I'm hoping I can figure out the trick to why they don't work well for me. For Micah, Pogos, and Tetramorium, I've apparently found the keys to, but Campanatus, just not my stock luck right now. But I wanted to show you some of my setups. How they're going and thanks for watching.